Hello everyone, today we are playing Bee Swarm Simulator. And in this video, if you look at my hive, since last video I have gotten the Windy Bee. Uh, which is pretty cool, so... But in this video, we will be um, buying the Coconut Canister. So if you head up to the 35B zone, just take this short shortcut. Uh, and if you go to the Coconut Crab Cave here, you go into it, like here, um, you will find the Coconut Canister. So, I have enough coconuts and enough tropical drinks. Just need some red extract and blue strip. I am quite far away from getting these, um, but I have a lot of strawberries and blueberries and row jellies to spend, and that's what you need to craft them. So, let's go do that. So, there's the blender in here, so which is able to craft. So, we're gonna craft... How many do we need? Uh, we don't need very many. Only 13, I think, if I'm doing the math correctly. Beat up. We we do are gonna waste a lot of tickets too. Oh, that's okay. So then we gotta get to craft all these blueberries. I also have a lot of honey. It's the honey was the hard thing for or mostly the hard thing. I mean, the other stuff was kind of hard too, but this is pretty hard. Okay, so 34, I think that is. We go craft. It's a lot of tickets and a lot of blueberries and all that stuff. But it's okay. We now have the exact amount, just like we did for the gummy mask. So let's go back to the coconut cave and of course we're gonna have to test out all of the cool things um, that it can do so we're gonna go here uh, I also buy like coconut clogs a lot of people say that you should buy the coconut clogs after the coconut canister uh, because this little passive coconut haste thing is really only good with the coconut canister so so yeah and there we go we can craft it and we're gonna have all that stuff and craft the item. There we go. That took a little bit delayed, but there we go. Uh, that's I'm not used to seeing a coconut canister on my back, but that's cool. Uh, I wanna I wanna see it without my bear on. Okay, well, I'll have to wait in six. But yeah, well I feel like I can jump higher. I don't think I can, but <laughs> the coconut canister just makes it look like I can jump higher. So here it is. So inspire coconuts. Every fifth inspired token drops five falling coconuts on the field. I thought it was only one, but it's five. Uh, which collect pollen and damage enemies. Catching falling coconut converts pollen equal to 100% of your swarm's total convert total into honey tokens. Uh, so let's go try it out. Well, unfortunately, we're gonna have to wait five minutes for that. We'll have to do something else while we're waiting, so we might as well get the sprout now. Um, let's see, okay. Defeat this werewolf first. We're gonna have to wait for some Inspire tokens to pop up. Um, and Inspire tokens are those little stars. Um, you see these little icon things here? There's like, there should be a star one. Every time we get one of those, that should go up. Um, so I don't see any yet. My game is lagging a bit. Um, I don't see any yet. And they drop by gifted bees. All gifted bees. Oh yeah. Um, hmm. Not seeing any yet. They sometimes take a bit. Uh, let's just kind of farm this field a little bit. Oh, we did get one. Okay, so we got one. So yeah, that Windy Bee is really cool. Um, is is some of these cool tornadoes which like completely destroy the field. Still have one. I'm gonna put some sprinklers down. <laughs> it looks so cool having a coconut, considering I'm not I'm not used to it at all. So we're gonna keep farming. Come on. Also, I should be getting a lot more, because we didn't look at the stats. Let's look at the stats while we're trying to find some. So, the stats are... Where is it? Um, where is it? Oh, yeah, I forgot you cannot see the stats on the, the top thing, so we'll have to look at that afterwards. Uh, we have two still. You know, let's let's just go look at the stats now. We can, we can do the thingies later we can do the passives these are called passives by the way so we can do those later um let's because i the i mean the passives are part of it oh and look for the capacity uh i have 17 million without being in a thing which is pretty good and if you go into it the the coconut field it boosts my capacity a lot i don't really know why i think it's like i have some boosts for it and it goes up to 25 million in the coconut field for some fields it's different but yeah so we're gonna have to look at the stats in here. So, one million capacity. The old one was only five hundred thousand, I think. 
400% convert rate. I can't remember what my old one was. I think it was like 300 or something. 10% instant conversion. That's how much my old one had. 10% instant white conversion. Though my old one didn't even have instant white conversion, so that's pretty cool. 100% white pollen. My old one had 50% white pollen. I don't think my old one even had 5% white pollen. And 1B attack, which my old one had. So that's pretty good. And of course, my old one didn't even have any of these passive things, so check them out. And of course, the emergency coconut shield will be activating in a little bit. So we'll have to check that out. But first, we will try to get that inspired coconut thing to go off. I mean, it's it's useful. It's it's not the coolest. I mean, it is pretty cool, but it just drops coconuts. And I mean, I go. Oh, I was gonna summon a coconut for you guys to see, but I don't have any because I spent all them. But still, let's go try to figure it out. Also, I'm pretty sure the emergency coconut shield looks pretty cool, so we'll have to try that out. Okay, I'm not seeing any of those. Yeah, you got 56 seconds until that happens. Um, until, what is it called? Um, the emergency coconut shield is ready. I don't see any. Come on, give me some game. This is taking forever. Two. Oh, my pollen's full. <laughs> okay. Um, why don't we do... Uh, let's, let's, oh, here, let's, let's just show do the, um, the bug run, or whatever it's called. Thing that people do, and go through all the fields, and, like, stuff. Uh, fight all the monsters and stuff, so we'll do, do that. It's just so weird having a coconut on my back, because I've just never had it before. You know, we don't need to empty our pollen, let's just go. Um, so we'll go to Tunnel Bear first. Whoa. I think I, yeah, my Tunnel Bear isn't, is ready to fight. You need to wait a little. Oh. Whenever you're fighting a mob, it's always bad if it's lagging. Oh, what's going on? Okay. There we go. I can kill a Tunnel Bear very quickly in just like under like 20 seconds almost. I don't like under 25 seconds. Uh, yep, there we go. It's about 25 seconds. Okay. Oh, I should have waited for like. There's a buff called Baby Love Token, which basically increases your chances of getting something good. So we should have got that. Uh, now we're gonna fight something in a field, so we can activate our uh, emergency coconut shield. Let's fight. It's kind of boring, but let's fight the spider. Wait, wait I can't do it yet. And uh, bees don't kill it. I need to get hurt by it. Oh, okay. And boom! It, it, are you serious? It didn't drop any coconuts. Oh, but I do have a hundred percent defense. Oh, and my bees are stronger. Oh, that would be really good in like something like the ant challenge. Oh, I really wish those coconuts dropped though. I just wasn't in the field. I should have been careful of that. Well, it's just falling coconuts in the area, but I forgot. It also, yeah, I should have looked at that. Um, Ponding damage activates a shield that grants 100% defense and 1.25 B attack. Yeah, that would be really good in the ant challenge because all your bees are stronger and you won't get hurt by any of the ants. So that would be really good. Um, and yeah, it dro also drops the falling coconuts which would kill the ants. So yeah, that would be really good. Um, so yeah, that's... Oh wait, actually, you know what? Since I almost have my inspire thingy, let's go show that off. We need to at least get one successful thing done. Or, I mean, of course, getting the coconut cancer is successful, but um, it hasn't been the best showing this off, so we're going to try to get at least one thing done. Okay, we got to get just one more game. One more. One more. I wish, I wish it would give it to me. Like, just... Oh, there we go. Boom! And a bunch of coconuts drop down. You can collect all that. And w when they do it, they drop these honey coconuts, and you can collect them, and they, like, steal from the ba your backpack. So, um, you empty out your backpack a little bit fast, because uh, when you get better at the game, your backpack fills up super quickly, and it will be good to get rid of some of your backpack storage. Uh, oh, and it doesn't have a cooldown, so that's pretty cool. Uh, okay, so I hope you enjoyed this video. It was a very successful video. We got the coconut canister. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye!